FLIR Tools Plus templates are essentially just Microsoft Word templates with a few special objects added to handle the image import and the display of image and temperature information. This is a Word document set up with a cover page that I want to adapt to use as a FLIR Tools Plus template. It is important to note that there is nothing unique to the FLIR software about this document. This is set up with a few tables and text boxes and a JPEG file inserted into the header for the logo. On this page I want to display the thermal image, a photo, and a few tables to show some image information. The first step is to insert the placeholder for the thermal image. Click on the FLIR tab and then click the IR Viewer button. In this column I can click the Digital Photo button to insert the placeholder for the reference photo. Underneath the IR image, I want to display some temperature data. Information about the IR image can be displayed using a table or a field. In this case, I'll use the table. The contents window allows me to choose exactly what I want to show in this table. In this case, I'll select to show the maximum temperature in the image, some spot and area readings, and a delta T. I'll also show a few object parameters, like emissivity and reflected temperature. The preview section shows the content that I have selected. You can click on any row and move it up or down. Click OK to place the table on the page. You can always right click on the table and click Contents to change what is displayed in the table. In this column, I'll place another table for some additional image and camera information. I'll choose to show the date and the time that the image was stored in the camera, the camera model, and the lens type. This type of information is embedded in the IR image when it is saved in the camera. It's a good idea to set your preferred temperature and distance units in the template. This can be done from the FLIR tab if you click on the FLIR logo and click Set Units. The next step is to save this as a Word template. Select File, Save As, and for the file type, choose Word Template. I have a folder set up for my custom templates, so I will select this folder and click Save. Now I can create a new Word report using FLIR Tools Plus. If you are using a custom folder for your templates, be sure to set the user template path under Options on the Report tab. To create a new report, select some image groups from the library and then click the down arrow next to Generate Report. Your new template should appear in this list, and you can click on it to create the new Word report. If you right-click on the template, you can set this as the default template for your new reports. This allows you to right-click to create the report, or simply click the Generate Report button with the image groups selected. The new report contains a page for each image group that was sent to the Word template. The IR image is a fully active image in the report, 
which means that you can continue to measure temperatures and perform other analysis on the images. For example, you can adjust the scale, which is also known as thermal tuning. From the toolbar at the top of the image, you can add measurement tools, like spots and areas. You can double click on the color scale to select a different palette. temperature values will appear in the table automatically because the table is configured this way in the template. Now you can save the report as a standard Word document. Because the IR images are embedded in the document, you can open it at a later time and continue to analyze the images and edit the report.